Another Crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations. Now I've had a few people ask me to recreate the layered backgrounds like I do on the Fernie Designs tags. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this is a set of three scallop edged bunting that I got from Fernie Designs. And I'm going to show you how I achieve that background. So I'm going to I'm going to do this this kind of colours the pinks the greens and purples and the yellows. So basically, all I use is cheap ready-made paint that you can get from any hardware store, supermarket. I actually get these ones from Asda's and Tesco, so they're really cheap. I'm going to use purple, orange. And I'm not for too much in, as you can see. Just just a little bit, just a little bit. Green. Blue. And what I do is I add white to them to lighten them. So I'm now going to add a bit of white to each of them. I'm going to use, sorry if the camera wobbles slightly, should have got these out beforehand, I do apologise if it's currently wobbling, right, um, let's do the first one, and I literally mix the two colours, and the stabber literally soaks it all up, and I'll do it in part of the tag then I'll do the same with the other colour again do it in part of the tag okay and then this the, the third colour I shall do and I also like to get it so it blends in with each of the surrounding colours now the green. Now you could do any combination of colours you choose, but I'm going to do that for now. And then what I do is I get a clean foam brush and I sweep across, which I can't do here, so I'll do it in my hand. I sweep across. you get that as you can see in here you get that blended effect and I'm going to do the same thing on all of the all of the uh, all of these lovely you could do it in any design you wanted uh, you know further up more of one color than another you know literally it's just it is literally up to you you wanted to use variations of the same colour, you can do that. If it, you can change the direction that you go that you you go in. So this one I'm going down. Where in the last one I went across. Okay, so that's two. I'm not adding any more paint. I'm just using what I've got here. And if it, you know, if it starts to run into to to, to white because it's running out, that's not a problem. Now you can, like I said, blend blend it in better, or you can have. You no, know, it's literally your choice. And this one, I think, go go in this direction. Hello, crafters. I'm back. They're now dry. Now, um. With this one, I just used a varying different stamps, so that's what I'm going to do with uh, these ones here. I forgot to say in the in the previous bit that I pre-gessoed them, 
so that gave it an undercoat. So I'm basically going to go through my stamp sets and pick out stamps that I want to use on each tag. So I'm going to go down the flowery route. Of course this is uh, going to be a Mother's Day gift for my mum this year. And I'm just using... I really don't like this this ink stuff. It's premium pigment ink from Dovecraft, but it's not the best quality. But I've got it, and I'm going to use it. And then once it's all gone, I won't be replenishing it. And the good thing about this, you don't have to you don't have to worry about it being absolutely perfect because it's going to go on off a bit, on a bit, and it's going to be multi layers. So. I use first generation stamping, second generation stamping and get get as much out of it as you possibly can and that's one good thing about this particular style of stamping you know you literally just stamp until your you know the inks no longer on the stamp so I'm washing cleaning them as I go and then going back to my filing system that I have all my stamps in just to keep it organized I think I'll do a, some leaves this is a leaf one, an ivy leaf. Again, using the Dove Craft pigment ink. And just play around with it. You can use any design you wish. I think Mother's Day is on a different date in the US, isn't it? I mean, if you can, if you can just let me know in the, uh, in the comments if it is a different day, because I can't remember. I think it is, because I think ours is about April or March here in the UK. But if I recall, I believe yours is later. So I'm going to use this as a, as a little Mother's Day gift for my mum. going to use a few words and things on this as well. I'm going to use the dragonfly but I'm going to use some black ink for that so I'm going to use my I'm going to use my memento ink does anybody else agree with me you know the the black stays on the jet black stays on it smells to me it smells like um, icing Butter, butter type icing. I open it and I take a deep breath and oh, I love it. I love the smell of the stays on. Jet black ink. I don't know if they all smell like that because I'm just starting up with my collection. So just to go, as you can see, I'm just, literally just layering the stencils. Some parts are lighter than others, some parts are darker than others, but that's the whole idea of it. I also like to add, if I can, um, something that's me. So from the G's Teddy Bear Lane stamp set that May May and I created, I tend to use the glasses a lot because obviously I'm a, I wear the geeky glasses. So I try and get them in just as a stamp to say that this is one of my creations really <laughs> it's like in in a lot of my a lot of my jewelry I make if it's something to do with beads I try if I remember and add a wrong color bead into the necklace just to give it that unusual quirkiness that you know it's a one off so if I'm making a necklace and it's got black beads I tend to put in a white bead or a red bead or any other color bead just so it stands out. It's kind of my signature thing. I don't do it in all of my creations, but in, in quite a few of them I do. And what else should I put on there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the happy, because um, I have a great relationship with my mum. My mum, And I'm very lucky that I've got a few other ladies in my life that um, I do have, you know, that motherly type of relationship with. I'm a very, very happy chappy, very lucky chap. 
and that's that. So that's that process done. So it's literally just multi-layering of the stamps and the paint. So that's that process. Now this, as I said, is going to be a bunting and it's going to have the word mum on it. And what I'm going to do with these, I am going to use my embosser dabber, which I got from duplodesigns.com. I'm going to dab the embossing liquid onto it and then I'm going to use Perfect Pearls, which I also got from Duplo Designs. And I'm just going to use different different colour perfect pearls to do the uh, to do the letters. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to do that with you on video as well. I've never done this side on video. Never done this before using any of the wooden embellishments and embossing. So it's going to be a learning curve for me. But it's always good to do that on video so everyone can see. If you make any mistakes, they know that they don't. You know, they could do things to rectify it and not make the same mistake. So I will be back in this well. Thank you.